Uh, say, what, what do you charge to just check up on somebody? Uh, it, well, it depends on what you want to know and who you want me to check up on. Well, I want to know what my mom's up to. She's been acting kind of weird lately. How can you tell? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> she's been acting kind of weird lately for her. Well, what is she doing? Well, she's... Well, let me, let me explain. A few days ago, she went up to that cabin the Bowers have in the woods. I suggested she go up there and just kind of chill out. I mean, I had to convince her a little bit, but she really needed it. Anyways, they had that huge storm going on, and so I got a little bit worried. Well, did you call her? Yeah, I did call her, and that's the thing. She said everything was just fine, but you know what? She didn't sound just fine, do you know what I mean? Hmm, sounds just like my father. So, I drove up there to make sure that everything was okay, and she was up there with, with some guy. A guy? Yeah. Well, that's the part that freaks me out the most. I didn't know because she wouldn't allow me inside to meet him. I don't know. Well, maybe I'm overreacting a little bit. I don't know. But it seems like something's not right here. And I'm wondering what you, if you can, like, do a check on this guy. Make sure he's not psycho. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let me let me think about it. Um, yeah. I'm kind of in the middle of something with him okay. right now. All right. Well, let me know what you decide, yeah, okay? I will. All right. I am afraid to ask what you're thinking. Don't you think it's an interesting coincidence that Noah decides to commune with nature the same time that my father vanishes into thin air? And you think Buzz is Nola's new boyfriend? That's crazy. No. I think Nola is the woman who's been stalking him. This would be a great place to spend the holidays. Don't you think? I haven't really thought that far ahead. Oh, come on. Christmas, Thanksgiving coming up. We put the, put the tree over there by the window. Maybe over here by the fireplace. Would you... Stop. Why? What's the matter? Stop. Come on. Because being here is one thing. Planning to stay here is something just altogether different. What do you mean? <clears throat> I thought you wanted to be with me. I do. I mean, I... But it, it's a fantasy. It can't be. Sure it can. If both of us think it's okay, why not? Because it's not real. This is real. No, it's not. What's fake about it? What, is the fire fake? Is the cabin fake? Is the way we feel about being here together, is that fake? It, it just can't last. Yes, it can if we want it. Tell me, tell me that you'd rather be back in your old life than staying here with me. I wish it was the two of us. That's impossible. Why? Because the people back in Springfield? For starters. Oh, great. We'll give them a call, tell them what's what, they'll understand. <laughs> what? What? You have lost your mind. No, what? They should be happy if we're happy, right? I want to lose my mind, you know. I wish I lost my memory. I want to throw myself down those stairs. I can't let you do that. You might hurt yourself. You really care? Very much. You don't know the real me, you know. I've done some terrible things. Like what? I think it's so bad I don't want to tell you. Try me. The list is too long. <laughs> what? You're a wonderful, generous, kind person. What could it be? No, I'm not. I'm not. I if I was, you wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be in this terrible mess and it it's all my fault. All of it. Okay, tell me what it is, this terrible thing that you've done. You really want to know? Yeah. Annie, what's going on? What are you up to now? Well, I can't see you hiding her hair. Well, maybe there's a line in the ladies' room or something. There hasn't been anybody coming out of that bathroom since they went in. I wouldn't worry about it, Billy. Well, what the hell are they doing there? I, I don't know, but whatever it is, it's really... I, I'm sure it's none of our concern. Mm. Okay, Cassie. You said that she was using you to ruin our lives. Hey, 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 I, I never said that Cassie twisted things around. Just like you do, Reva. That's not true. 
You calling me a liar? Well, if it fits, you cannot speak that way to me, Cassie. <laughs> you know, I'm just surprised that anyone in this town speaks to you. So you're not happy unless you're causing everyone else misery. So yes, I believe every single word that Reva you said about you. You don't know what you're talking about. Reva Shane is a liar. Everything out of her mouth is a lie. Well, gee, that's funny because everyone seems to be talking about you. Who? Who's talking about me? The rest of the Lewis clan? Big deal. Give me a break. Your trial was a matter of public record, Annie. It was in every newspaper. And yes, I have gotten close to the Lewis clan. And they are decent, loving, giving oh. people. And they don't deserve to be hounded and harassed by a bitch like you. And yeah, that's what you are. You're, you're like this rabid dog that attacks anything and everything that gets in its path. And you don't give a damn who you hurt, including poor, innocent little children. Shut up. You shut up before you're sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to be sorry, but it's worth it to get to tell you what I really think about you. Well, you see there, Annie, even people who you've just met see you for exactly what you are. Reva, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, I, I did bad things. I did terrible things, and you don't remember because you fell. Come on, stop. Right. No, no, it's the truth. I lied to you. I'm not the woman that saved your life. I'm the woman that ruined it. That's crazy. It is crazy. And, and I'm crazy when it comes to you. I... I sent you those flowers, I sent you those cookies. I even took something from your house and then I, I was stalking you. And then when you found out that it was me that was stalking you, you came up here to have it out with me. And then I confessed and you forgave me. And then you fell down the steps and hit your head. And I've been living in this fantasy world dreaming that we could be together and instead I've destroyed your life and now it's it's a nightmare for both of us you think Nola is Buzz's stalker Nola Think about it. Think about it. What? It makes perfect sense. How? Way back in the beginning, when my dad first complained, he was joking around that men never receive flowers. Who was there? Nola. The next day, he gets flowers, then cookies, then a card. Jenna told me once that she got a casserole at the at the firehouse. I and mean, when I got out of the hospital, who was there with balloons? Nola. Well, you know. Now, I mean, that's a nice gesture, but I don't even know that woman. And my dad and Jenna were never even friends with her either. You keep talking like this, you're gonna be back in the hospital. No. I know it sounds crazy, but there is no other explanation. Unless they're having an affair, which is not possible. Hallelujah. We have something to agree on. Nola is the stalker. I know it. And look, there's no time to waste. It's what are you, where, where, where are you going? I am going to Ed Bauer's cabin to save my father. Wait a minute. Don't try to stop me. I'm not trying to stop you. I'm going to pay for the burgers. Of course. Well, hurry. Come on. I'm hurrying. Leave him a good time. No. What about the burgers? What about my mother? You know, if we could undo what happened to Abby, 